Oh yeah, got a little bit of damage on my police model XJ driver door. Time to finally replace it. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. We are finally getting around to fixing this damaged door on this XJ. Well, we're not fixing it. We're just gonna replace this whole entire door. So the first step is we are going to remove everything that's on this door because this is all good stuff. We got a nice good door panel. All the electronics is great. The glass is good. We even have our nice little rain guard up here. So we are going to start the removal process by turning on the ignition. I'm gonna drop this window down right about to here. I think that is the sweet spot for accessing the window regulator. So let's go ahead and get this started. All right, so we're going to turn the power on in here, key in the ignition, there we go, drop this window down, yeah, right about there-ish. Now, before you do any of this, weeks in advance, you're going to want to squirt as much penetrating oil as you can on these Torx bits, and it might take some strength to get that off. I got a good video of me in the junkyard taking off a door. You might want to reference that so you could see the innovative tactics I had to use to, to get a door off in the yard, no tools. I'm hoping that it won't be as hard for this one, but uh, you never know. So yeah, it's a good idea to lube that bolt. All right, now we're gonna start taking off everything on this door. Gonna take off this door card first. To do that, we're gonna take off this screw right here. There's a screw and the door handle. Right there, we got two more on the armrest, and then another one right in there. All Phillips heads. All right, here we go. My turn to take this thing off. Gonna do it nice and neat. Start with that door handle screw. Screw up here. All right, now the armrest screws. I suggest you move quickly, because the door's open, and you don't want to drain your battery. I guess you could unplug your battery if you wanted, but. Hopefully we'll get this new door back on lickety split. All right, gonna use a trim removal tool I got from uh, my Motivex tool set. Thank you, Chris Watson. I'll leave a link in the description. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, these uh, Christmas tree fasteners are probably pretty well worn. They're just popping right off. Out and then up. Now we're gonna release our locks, lock and handle. There we go. Oh, look at that. This one just slid right out. Must have not have been plugged in too well. But there we go, door card is off. We'll put this in a safe location. I'm gonna go ahead and take out this door speaker. I'm gonna reuse this one. This is a aftermarket Pioneer. Take this out. I gotta peel off my weather barrier. Now I'm gonna go for this side view mirror. One screw right there. And do our plug. There we go. There's a Christmas tree fastener somewhere here. There we go. All right, gonna gently slide this foam out of the way. Try not to rip it. Uh, I'm ripping it. There we go. There's three Torx fasteners in here. I'm gonna zip them right out. It should be T27. Now, a magnet is a great thing to have right about here. I'll show you why. Boink, got it. All right, got the last screw right here. Notice how I'm holding on to the wires because I don't want this to fall off and smash. There we 
we go. Gently receive your mirror and you can push out this grommet and the rest of the plug comes out nice and neat. This is a heated mirror. It still works. I want to keep this intact. All right, while the camera's out here, I'm going to go ahead and take off this trim. I'm not sure how my brother put on these uh, these rain guards, but I like to just stick mine on with tape on the outside. He wedged his all up in here with uh, with this trim, so be nice to not break it because I want to reuse these. There we go. That's one way of doing it. <laughs> All right, cool. Might as well take this trim off while I'm at it too. Hey, one of my first XJ videos was a trim refresh vid. So I want you to go ahead and watch that too if you want. It's that easy. go all the trim is off all right now we're getting to the good stuff we're gonna take out the window regulator if I could just reach this plug right here a Christmas tree fashioner pop that out there's the window regulator this looks like aftermarket because it is a green plug interesting there we go the regulator motor is unplugged now everything in here is 10 millimeter Careful on that last, last little fastener on the window. You don't want the glass to slide down and crack or anything like that. All right, that's resting up there nice. Continuing on. So this whole window system is three fasteners for the regulator, three fasteners for the track, and two fasteners for the actual glass. Go ahead and remove this inside piece of trim. What do they call this? The wipe? The wipe guard? I don't know what it is. It's nice and felty though. <laughs> Hold on to that one. And this window should come right on out. Beautiful. All right, now's the time to retint your glass if you'd like. You can just peel this old tint off, slap some new tint on, bada bing, bada boom. All right, let's take out this window regulator. I left these screws on down here because you could just slide them up, push them through these little eyelets there. Now we're just gonna rotate this thing down. Oh, it's got a little right there. Aha! Watch out for those Christmas tree fasteners. The XJ power locks right here. More T27s. And the latch right here. More T27s. rubber gasket track just comes right out there's the actual metal part of the track here's the power lock mechanism just gonna slide this off take off this clip there we go Let's get this free from the door locks right here. Hopefully you can see in there. Now I find that these 
things are the trickiest parts of the door, these aluminum little uh, lock unlock levers. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the other things, the lock, uh, the outside door handle lock from this. This way I can slide out these tricky things as one. Hopefully you can see this, guys. Bear with me. There we go. This is left intact. All right, switching back to our 10 millimeter. Gonna get this door handle off. And there's another one right in here. A little secret entrance. There we go. Put these back. Now we're going to remove the most important part of this whole door. This is the piece that matches your ignition key, the door lock. So let's go ahead and slide this little bracket out. There we go. Now our tumbler can pop out. so we don't lose it. All right, once you got everything on the door dismantled, you could go ahead and take out these two Phillips head screws. These are the long body screws. This will give you a little bit of room to wiggle out this kick panel. Now, this kick panel is secured by a little 11 millimeter fastener in there. It's not a real nut. It's that weird little hollow thing. Those, uh, those are weird, so you could replace them with a better 11 millimeter if you wish in the future. Just gotta go ahead and wiggle this out. There we go. Now I had already accessed this boot to repair some issues with the wiring. Uh, here's what that boot's supposed to look like that's not taken apart yet, just so you guys can see it. Figured why not show you the way it's supposed to look. There you go. All right, so we're back here on the police model. We're just gonna disconnect these three connectors right here. One, two, and three. Don't mind the red lights. That's my brother's favorite interior color. So that's why it's like that. All right, went ahead and popped off all these connectors. Now we're just gonna fish all these wires through this little grommet hole, nice and neat. This is not my favorite part of the XJ uh, door projects, but what are you gonna do? It has to be done. Just keep on fishing. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this pathetic excuse for a door check pin. There we go. What the heck is that? cloth whatever now if you want to go ahead and replace your door check altogether you could go ahead and access it through the speaker hall and that's a whole nother video entirely all right it's gonna feed these wires into the door all right, so we gotta get to these really annoying Torx hinge bolts that attach the door to the hinges. I was thinking about switching these over to a hex, but they'll work for me for now. So what I did was I went ahead and I got myself these door last Torx bit sets. These are the impact ones. Now they come with the uh, removable head, which is exactly what we need to get into this tight space. I went ahead and I removed the head to the, uh, what is this, the T40? Just make sure. Yeah, I think this is the T40. Yep. So we got the T40, and what I'm gonna do is put this on my Husky 11 millimeter ratcheting socket, and this is what makes the magic happen. Now these are all loosened up. These have been 
<laughs> soaked severely with uh, penetrating oil. And now these are coming out just nice. Now again, if you wanna see me struggle with these, I have a really innovative, well, I think this is how I invented it. Um, at the junkyard, I invented this little method on how to remove these annoying bolts. So go ahead and watch that. I'll pop a link right in here. one's always tricky. Hold on tight, guys. All right, if you have a crap door, you can just mash it down right on the driveway. But if you have a good door, then you might want to get a little dolly so you can work with it. All right, all I'm going to do now is remove my wire harness. I think this was a good wire harness. I'll have to inspect it for more cracks and breaks, of course. But uh, so far, everything worked on it. All right, guys, so you're definitely going to want to inspect your wire harness for brakes. As you can see, there was one right here. I repaired this one already. Again, that's why my boot was out of sorts. But you could also see that, look, there's some fraying on this one right here. And, yeah, we got some exposed copper, too. So definitely take a good look at your wires, inspect them well. And this way you won't have any window failures, lock failures, none of that good stuff. All your speakers will be operating hopefully and uh yeah it's always worth a good check all right nothing left of this crummy old door shell except for these 10 millimeter old fasteners that hold on the door check i don't know why i interrupted my own sentence right there that was weird but whatever let's go ahead and slide this right out the speaker hole ah come on There we go. This little thing is the thing that makes all that clicking noise really annoying. I think new ones go for like 50, 60 bucks. Decent ones. Don't get the cheap $20 ones you see on uh, Amazon. They will break in a day. They're crap. So try to get a name brand. Mopar would be awesome. Good luck finding them. All right, that's about it for this door shell right here. It's a shame there is not any rust at all, no rot whatsoever, but it is bashed. That is 100% my bad. It sucks, it was the original door, rust-free from Georgia. It's got the original Vintag right here. So we're not gonna scrap this door just yet. We're gonna try to recover this tag. All right, here is the new door we've selected. Now from the other side, it looks really good, but from the inside and the bottom, here is your standard rust. Man, I'm really starting to hate the Northeast. This is awful. It looks like the previous owner tried to cover up some rust with some spray paint, but you know that never works. You gotta really nip the rust in the bud. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this door on and I'll get to this later. That will be another day, not right now, because it's getting dark and well, I don't have a door. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. It looks like it's got everything installed already. It's got the glass in, this is intact. Uh, all it's missing is the mirror. Oh man, that guy even ripped apart the little cover. All you gotta do is take that screw out. It's in the other video, cause that guy was lazy. Uh, let's see, wires look a little bit messy, but we're gonna see if we can plug this in, see what happens. Oh man. On a hunch, I decided to unwrap the door harness and look at this. This is what you're dealing with when you get old, brittle junkyard wires. Heck, this is probably what most of your XJ door wires look like anyway. So I'm going to make myself a custom wire harness for the door. This way we could avoid all these brittle broken wires, botched repair jobs, and who knows what this is. This is a aftermarket speaker wires that were tied into the 
factory wires. Gross. So I'll go ahead and fix this another time. All right, guys, here we go. I kind of rushed this part. Sorry, but uh, it's getting dark. But there is the hinge. Now, if you get these shims lined up with your old paint lines, it's kind of hard to see in there, but you just want to make sure that outline of the paint is right where it used to be. You get your old shim lined up with the new door. Everything should be pretty close. Now, I wrestled this door where it needed to be using my knee, lifting up on here, and then I tighten these down one by one with my handy dandy modified tool but yeah so that is it um the door is on it's very well lubed with anti-seize let's see how it goes oh look at that not too bad not too bad at all look at that so there we go <laughs> i told you it looked good from the outside very nice very nice oh man well I wish I could do more, but it is getting dark. So let me just plug in this power harness right here and I'll try to get this window up. Hopefully that regulator is good. All right, I have very low expectations <laughs> with this wire harness, but that's plugged in. Now let me get my switches. I've been here for about an hour, maybe hour and 20. Let's see if it starts. Hey, all right, didn't kill the battery. Come on, window. Bad regulator, classic. Well, we're gonna have to switch out all the guts on this one, but we're gonna do that in another video. Thank you guys for watching this one. I guess I'm gonna have a XJ door series. So here we go, guys. Uh, I will see you on the next project. Wait, I did that backwards, it's been a while. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next project. Peace. <laughs> it's all right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. That's a police model. Got to do a door swap real quick. Yep. Filming right now. Hey, say what's up to everybody. You're on YouTube, brother. Have a good day, man. Thanks for stopping by.